Drone technology has undoubtedly come a long way over the past decade or so, with advancements in both batteries and the electrical control systems that fly them. But have things gotten to the point we could put one on like a backpack and take to the skies? Advancements in drone tech are allowing us to build smaller drones than ever that can work in swarms and also scaling the technology up to build real multi-rotor electrical vehicles for people. These aircraft are actively being developed by several companies that hope to turn them into an on-demand transportation system a bit like Uber. Whilst both practical and potentially game-changing for transit, one Australian company decided things could be a lot more fun and exciting by dropping the vehicle and putting the rotors into a backpack you can strap on, granting humans their eternal wish to take flight. Copter Pack seems to be a cross between drone tech, helicopters and a jetpack, with their website describing the craft as an electric backpack helicopter with a self-leveling autopilot. That last point sounds useful as it will take away a lot of the learning curve in what looks to be a quite exhilarating but potentially lethal piece of kit. The airframe is made from carbon fibre honeycomb to keep it light, although no details of the craft's battery size or weight capacity have yet been released. The company made a first flight of its prototype recently, however it isn't clear if this design will be used on the final production model or if further safety features will be added. The uncovered rotors do look a little bit close to the pilot's arms. The rotors themselves twist to commands from the pilot's joysticks, vectoring the thrust and allowing the pilot to manoeuvre. It isn't clear yet what the craft will be used for, if it's purely recreational like skydiving, or could it be put to use by the military, such as these jetpacks being tested by the UK's Royal Marines, or could commercial applications be found, for example inspecting buildings where a regular camera drone just can't do the job. As the technology improves, it'll be fascinating to see what it's used for next. What do you think? Any ideas?